Hi everyone, welcome back. In this lecture, we are going to create and set up our first React application. Well, in order to create and set up React application, we are going to use build tools. Well, there are two popular build tools out there to create and set up the React application, such as Create React App and Vite.js. Well, in Java, we use the build tools like Maven or Gradle to create and set up the Java projects, right? Similarly, in order to create and set up the React application, we can use the build tools like create react app or vite.js. Well, let us first take a look into create react app. Well, create react app is an official supported way to create a single page react applications. It offers a modern build setup with no configuration. Create react app is a built on webpack and bubble and it is a popular tool that enables developers to quickly set up the React application. Well, Create React App provides a free configured environment so that developers can focus on the coding part, not on the build setup and the configuration. Alright, and Create React App is especially useful for beginners to get started. Next, let us take a look into Wheat.js. Well, Wheat is a newer build tool that has gained popularity in recent years it was created to address the limitations of existing build tools, particularly in the development phase. Well, Wheat.js is built on top of Rollup Bundler, which is known for its faster build times. Wheat also provides a development server that is optimized for performance. Well, nowadays, React developers prefer using Wheat.js as a build tool to create and set up the React applications because Wheat provides a faster build times. It means we can use with JS to bundle or build the React application very very faster. Wheat also provides the development server that is optimized for the performance. It means if you change something in the React application, then development server will immediately pick up that change and it will update the DOM in a HTML. Alright? So Wheat you can use to improve the development experience. Okay. Now the question is, which build tool we have to use to create and set up the React application? Well, both Create React App and Wheat are excellent build tools that provide the developers with a solid foundation for building React applications. Create React App is a reliable choice for beginners to learn while Wheat is a better choice for real-world projects that require faster build times. Ultimately, the choice between Two will depend on the project's requirements and the developer's preferences. Well, in this course, I am going to show you how to create and set up the React applications using both Create React App and Wheat.js. So, we will begin with using Create React App tool to create and set up the React application. And in upcoming you know, sections, we will also see how to use Wheat.js to create and set up the React applications. Now, let us go ahead and let us use Create React App Build tool to create and set up the React application. Well, in order to create the React application, you need to install Node.js and npm. Well, if you just type Node.js in the browser and go to download page, and from here you can go ahead and download the Node.js as per your operating system, and you can install in your operating system. Next, you don't have to install the npm separately. Whenever you will install the Node.js npm will also get installed okay next you need a text editor well in this course we are going to use ujo studio code id to build the react applications well you can just type ujo studio code in a browser and click on the first link and click on download link over here so from here you can go ahead and download the ujo studio code id as per your operating system and then you can go ahead and install it okay so make sure that before creating the React applications, you have to install Node.js and Ujo Studio Code ID in your machine. Alright, great. Next, let us go ahead and let's create the React application using Create React App tool. Well, first of all, let's create the workspace. For example, here in my file system, I have created React Workspace as a folder. Within this folder, we are going to create the React applications. Alright, next, let us open the Ujo Studio Code ID. Well, I have already installed the Visual Studio Core ID, so here let me open it. Next, let me maximize this and go to File Menu, click on Open Folder over here, and then go to the folder. So, in my case, I have created 
react workspace as a folder so let me select it click on open all right perfect next we are going to create the react application in this react workspace folder so in order to create the react application we are going to use the commands well if you go to browser and in a new tab just type create react app hit enter click on the first link and click on get started over here and you can see so these are the couple of commands that we can use to quickly create and set up the react application using create react app build tool all right so let us execute these commands so in order to execute these commands we have to use the terminal right so let's go back to visual studio code id here and here we are going to use inbuilt visual studio code id terminal for example go to terminal click on new terminal and here let us execute the command so if you go back to browser the command npx create react app followed by the application name next let's go back to vs code and go to terminal and here just type the command npx followed by create react app followed by the application name so let us give application name as react basics next hit enter so this will take a couple of seconds to create and set up the react application so let us wait a couple of seconds and you can see the statement creating a new react app in this folder all right perfect and there we go the react application is successfully created with the name react basics well if you go to react workspace folder within that react basics is the react application name next in order to run the react application we can use the command npm start and in order to build the react application for production you can use the command npm run build in order to execute the test you can use the command npm test in order to eject the react application you can use npm run eject next let us type these two commands to start the react application we are right now we are in a react workspace so let us move into our react application so here let me clear the terminal and just type the command cd react basics next npm start and then hit enter and there we go our react application is up and running in a development server on port 3000 next let's go to browser in a new tab just type localhost colon 3000 and there we go our react application is up and running next let's go back to vs code and go to our project and go to app.js and here let us remove all this code and here just type h1 element and then type hello world and just save this file and let's go back to browser and you can see hello world is displayed in the browser okay so in next lecture what we'll do we'll understand the important files and folders of this react application all right great i will see you in the next lecture